Hello, so I've gotten questions all the time on how to use emote toggles, and I've had to help people many times. So I'm finally here making a video showing you how to do it and put it onto your own model. So to begin, I just have the basic Unity layout here of the SDK, I have shaders, the model, and then dynamic bones, and I have a gun here. So to begin, we want to import the toggles. One will be named Atomiku, and then Gesture Manager and VRC Labs. I'll talk about Gesture Manager and VRC Labs later. First we want to go into Atomiku and then Toggles, Boilerplate, and then I will be having the gun disabled at first, and then I'll be enabling it using the toggle. So I want to go into Enable Boilerplate, and I want to go into the Prefab. Alright, and then once we have that we can go down into the hierarchy of the model, find where my gun is, and I'll put a, the prefab right above that. I'll go down, and we can put the gun into the container, and we can delete empty since we do not need that. It's just a placeholder. And then I'll make a folder here called gun toggle, put all the new animations in. And then if we highlight both of these and then do control D, I'll duplicate them. And same thing for the controller. Alright, and once we have that, I will delete all the ones in the controllers. Then I'll have gun enable and gun disable. And then we just want to make sure that the animators are linked up to the animations. So I'll go into the animator of each animator and then just delete this and make sure that the correct corresponding animation is in there. Alright, and then once we have that we can go into our hierarchy here again. And then for reset we can right click and then VRC Labs as the ability to easily copy the path. Then I can go into disable is for reset. Let's go all the way down and find our behavior. We double click on that and paste. We'll get our whole path here. And all we need to do is delete everything in front of the armature. And then do the same thing for enable. Alright, then once we have that, we are pretty much done. What we have to do is the animator override, which I'll just use a default here. And then gun enable, I'll put under emote 1. And then the disable, I like to put under 5. Just have them go up and down, it makes it look nicer. Alright, and I'll make sure. We have our override in here. Once we do that, we can go back and go into Gesture Manager, which we can grab this prefab, put it in our hierarchy, and then we'll be able to test out gestures or emotes or even animations nice and easily right in Unity. So I can click on Gesture Manager, go into Emotes, and I'll have Gun Enable. And I'll have gun disable. They both work, and they'll both work in game. So, I hope this helps everyone. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.